Hi, this is Mona for Thermoweb. Today I am going to show you how to mix this beautiful rose gold and platinum color with Decofall Metallics Gel and Stencil Pell. This week we have a collaboration with Picket Fan Studios and Misty and I will show you an easy project with their products. I hope you will keep watching this video. For this project I prepared colorful cardstocks in 5 and a quarter by 4 inches. I am going to blend the background through the circle 2.5 inch blending stencil from Picket Fan Studios. They are selling this stencil in other sizes too. I own the 3.5 inch version too. As you can see, both of them are perfect for the 4.25 by 5.5 inch card size, but this time I am going to use the smaller one. First I am going to use the old paper Distress Oxide ink. What I extremely love about this stencil is that it has negative part 2 and in this tutorial I will use both the negative and positive parts. I also made an ink blending on the blue and vintage rose cardstocks, then I started the stamping and heat embossing process with the Jungle Baby stamp set from Picket Fan Studios. Look at these beautiful sentiments and images. I love this set so much. The reason why I am stamping with acrylic blocks is because I live in Europe and unfortunately I didn't get my Misty package in time to use them in the video. However, I absolutely recommend Misty for stamping. I had a chance to try it out on a crafty retreat and I can say you, if you want to step to a higher level of stamping, consider to buy it. I can't wait to receive mine and stamp with it. Next I am going to mix a beautiful rose gold color with the iCraft Deco for Metallics Gel and Stencil Pell. I am adding two parts of pure gold, one part of glaze pewter and one part of champagne's mist Deco for Metallics Gel and the pink ink. I use the pink raspberry mini distress ink pad stamped with a few times on watercolor mat. And now look at the magic. With the stencil pen, it is really easy to mix the colors together. Now I am adding the circle from the blending stencil to mask the background on the card front. I also place the floral dama stencil on it and I am applying the metallic gel mixture to the paper through the stencil and I am gently pulling it with stencil pen. When I remove the stencil, the result was different what I was expecting around the circle. However, I still like it. On the other hand, if you have a pixie spray, then this can't happen to you. Trust me. I made two more backgrounds, this time with original colors, but I added the circle outside the stencil. For the blue one, I used a pure gold color and look, it works much better. So problem solved. I tried this once more, this time to the vintage pink. I used the Champagne Mist Metallics Gel, which is also beautiful. I was really happy with the result, so I decided to mix one more metal color, and that's the Platinum. I added two parts of Glaze Pewter, two parts of Champagne Mist, and one part of Pure Gold Deco for Metallics Gel. This time I did not use the Circle Stencil because I wanted to variate the designs for these two cards. I used white teeth circle die cut. Now it's time to clean all my used supplies and surfaces and let the backgrounds dry completely. The next step was the coloring. I used the beautiful Jungle Baby stamp set from Picket Fan Studios. I stamped the images off camera to save a little time and I made a quick coloring with my Copic markers. I am speeding up the coloring process with the little music. If you want to skip this process, just expand the description box and click the next step.
After the coloring, I made a quick fussy cutting, then I added the background to white card base with Gina K Designs, permanent adhesive dot runner. I wanted to add the little dimension to the colored images, so I used white form squares from Gina K Designs. I love this adhesive so much, because it's super permanent. In the end, I added few sequins with the iCraft Ultra Bound liquid adhesive to embellish my cards. This was my tutorial for today, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comment. For the used supplies, be sure to expand the video description or check Thermoweb's blog for more information. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, bye!